Time Farm Ideas with Kevin. Good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are, and good morning. Whatever time you be watching this video, here we give you ideology, information about farming. So today, I made a video speaking about turkeys. It is just a continuation of the other video. Uh, I want to talk about turkey production. Very many farmers out there, they are mostly involved in two poultry, leaving out turkeys. But I want to tell you there is something we are not touching in production of turkeys. I want to give you more, more enlightenment on turkey production. Then you decide which one you will go for. Because in turkey production, there are much you can do out of it. Just turkey production, within the circle of turkey production, there is a lot you can do within it. What, what do I mean here? What I mean is that in turkey production, you can, a farmer can decide and say that I want to do production of turkeys. But in this production, I want to do egg production. That one is one. You focus and specify on what you want out of the turkey production you are doing. Then you decided, I want to do egg production. Few farmers in Uganda and along, 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 around, around Africa, they are not calling out that production. And you can decide still in turkey production that I want to do what is called meat production, turkey meat production. What do I mean here? That you rear turkeys purposely for meat production. Like the way a farmer who does, who is keeping um, broilers for who is keeping broilers for meat production? You also decide to keep your turkeys to do meat production. And in that one, you can even add what is called value addition. If you can manage, if you can manage, please people, just let me first say, first complete this video. If you can manage to buy a deep freezer, definitely. When you, sometimes I know we may, as in farmers may may be get may get may get caught up. They may get caught up that they don't have market is there, but it might not be like as in the the the, the price is a bit lower that you don't you don't need to just sell your what your meat just because but you find that the the, the, the price is too low. But if you have your deep freezer, you can slaughter your turkeys and you keep them in the deep freezer. When the prices raise up in the market, you will be there to earn and harvest good money. Because in this turkey production, it's a lot involved. It takes feeding, shelter, uh, vaccination, medication, water, and so on and so forth. So you don't need to produce your meat, then you find that the market is so low and you just end up making a loss instead of making a profit. Another thing what you can do with the turkeys also is production of turkey chicks. Decide, sit down and say, I want to do turkey. But when I go into turkeys, I want to produce day one chicks of turkeys. And I sell it out to the farmers. You will find that you will be making a lot of money. Because you will calculate or you will make sure that you get the right and good breeds of the female turkeys and the male turkeys. 
Why am I saying both of them? Because we need fertilized eggs. These fertilized eggs are the eggs that we are going to put into, in, into the incubator that will give us the day one turkeys or day one turkey chicks. And that means also production in turkeys. I don't know whether you get it. And there is another one. You can see the circle within turkey production. Meat, egg, they want chicks, and you can also produce turkeys for commercial purposes. Just you decide that I want to do commercial production in turkeys. Here, you raise up the turkeys and you sort them. You decide to sort them, the female and the male aside. But you should put your focus mostly on the female. Reason on the male, I mean. Reason being, we, the male turkeys put in heavy weight and they gain more kilograms than the female turkeys. And how much will you benefit from your male turkey? You can decide to say that I want to be doing male turkey production and all that it is a circle of you making money ugandans better wake up the youth better wake up if you have a small space start with that one if you have if you can if you can purchase 10 15 turkeys i know one one turkey the the baby turkey or the small turkey a bit expensive but try to save some small little money to venture into your activity even if if you're outside there and you feel like you know what Kevin you're talking about turkeys I have picked the interest I want really to do turkey production you can contact me and I talk to you I give you free information about turkey production so that you go and start doing production of turkeys in various departments or various ways as I have broken them down for you. I have not seen turkey producers in Uganda but we have land in Africa but we have land. We have even food. They give sometimes the prices for feeds changes but we can do turkey production as long as you arrange and you organize yourself thank you so much for watching this video please if you are new here and you want to subscribe to this youtube channel kevin farm ideas and also give a video like and leave a comment in the comment section tell me give me your suggestions about this video what do you talk about it what do you want me to elaborate more or give you more light in it we can do it you can do it we can do it see you next time with the next video bye bye